Imagine rocking with an acoustic guitar, beach clothing, flip-flops, sometimes barefoot. Jimmy Buffett made his mark on Southwest Florida and across the country. Welcome back to Wink News at 4. I'm Russ McCaskey. And I'm Taylor Words. The man who strummed the strings of his guitar and the heartstrings of so many fans had a huge impact, not just in the music world. Wink News environmental reporter Liz Byro joins us in studio with more. Liz. Now the man behind the music is also the man behind the manatee. Jimmy Buffett co-founded the Save the Manatee Club, an organization whose mission is to protect the imperiled manatees and their habitat for future generations. He remained co-chair and an avid supporter of the group all his life. It's a rare singer whose sound sums up an entire way of life. Jimmy Buffett's music inspired millions. His fans are called parrot heads, but it's his work to protect an aquatic creature I'm focusing on today. Right. In 1981, Buffett was playing one of his concerts. Florida's governor at the time, Bob Graham, was in the audience and got to go backstage. And as I got talking, as I understand it, Jimmy raised the issue of his concern for manatees and their future. At the time, there were less than 1,000 manatees left in and around Florida. That turned into an opportunity where they got together and the governor appointed Jimmy as the chairman of a new committee called the Save the Manatee Committee. And that's how he met SMC's executive director, Pat Rose, who Graham appointed as the committee's scientific advisor. Really, it was all business right from the beginning because there were so many things that needed to be done right away. Rose told me Buffett wasn't a figurehead. He took an active role in the organization, coming up with the idea for the Manatee license plate and the Adopt the Manatee program. Hi, I'm Jimmy Buffett. Save the Manatee Club has helped to protect imperiled manatees and their aquatic habitat for decades, but there's still more work to be done. Since the organization's founding, the manatee population has grown to upwards of 8,000. But that's still not a very large number. 72 died this year as a result of collisions with watercrafts. More than 1,500 were lost over the last two years as water quality has declined and seagrass has disappeared. Both concerns for Buffett. So let's work together to safeguard the manatees and the places they call home. Be the friend they need. I went back out today to check on these manatee who got stuck behind a water control structure at Whiskey Creek Country Club. As the water rose during Hurricane Adalia, they went behind it, and then as the water came back down, they had a problem getting out. Now, I spoke to neighbors who tell me Florida Fish and Wildlife is expected to come out here Wednesday. Back to you.